Number one is fill ratio. Seems obvious, just the number of filled orders is a percentage of the number of orders placed. Um, we at LMAX, though, see rejected orders as an opportunity cost. There's a real money value to a, a missed order. So looking at, looking at the graph below, the first thing we did was just look at market orders. Now, you would expect market orders to just have a 100% fill rate, because ultimately the client's saying, I would like to buy, please fill me, no matter what happens to the price. So when we looked at it, as you'd expect, right at the top, we were at 99.94%. So near as you can get to 100%. In fact, the only reason you're not at 100% on market order fill rates is because there's a complete lack of liquidity. So for example, someone's asking for 10 million of dollar Hungary at midnight on a Sunday night. But otherwise, you get to 100%. So non-100% is really an error. What is odd for us is that people are obviously rejecting market orders. So if you look at bank two, uh, they're rejecting half a percent. Non-bank one's rejecting over 3% of market orders. We haven't quite answered that question, but this is what happens on this data set. So then you look at limit orders. Now, you can see we were rather perplexed. Suddenly, LMAX goes to the bottom of the stack. Our fill rate on limit orders was 92%. What's more surprising, if you look, is that you look at the example of non-bank three, and they've gone from 98% on market order fill rate to all the way up to 99.5% on limit orders. Now, that seems counterintuitive. So why would fill rates be higher on limit orders than they are on market orders? It's the same ecosystem. Just doesn't make sense. So please hold that thought. We'll come back to it um, right at the end when we start looking at the timing of trading and how you put all this together for your portfolio. But fill ratio is TCA metric number one.